Hello. Today I would like to review Katlev, a writer which is on AppSumo for quite some time already and actually it is a real deal. Just take a look at the number of the reviews. More than 600 reviews. This is a tool that I personally use and enjoy a lot. I've got AppSumo deal some time ago and it's still available as of now, but honestly I think it will go away soon, because it is an example of a software that became successful. Not every tool get a lot of traction on AppSumo, but Artep is one of the best tools on AppSumo right now. For example, just take a look at the number of reviews they get. And before you consider the tool, yeah, you may check the reviews, but please pay attention that now this deal is not honorable. I think since they are here for a long time already, they've got some credibility, so they can afford to do that. So just pay attention that this deal is not refundable. We can check some reviews and some not happy reviews and some unhappy customers report that this deal is not refundable, though I'm not sure it's quite fair to give one star not for the functionality, but because the deal is not refundable anymore. You can see that representative of Katep responses to comments and you can see a lot of great reviews. Honestly, I think this deal will go away soon. Regarding plans, Basically, you get 15,000 words for one code and you can stack a lot of codes. So you get the same functionality for any number of codes. The difference is in number of words that you can generate. You get access to a lot of tools. They also have integration with ChatGPT4. There is also included AI art generation, which we'll test. And my opinion that a writer doesn't need that, but okay, if it's there, it doesn't hurt to have it. But in my honest opinion, it is better to focus on content creation. And actually, Katep is doing great in that matter. Also, before we begin, just a quick check that they have some traction, because compared to other new AI writers, those new tools get around 50 to 70 uh, thousand visitors just to compare it to Yara, another tool recently hit AppSumo and Katep has much more visits. Okay, let's dive deeper in the review of the tool. And first, let's check the roadmap. They show what features they have already released, like plagiarism checker, ability to export to WordPress, integration with images, integration with ChatGPT4. I would like to point that I'm using this tool for a few months and I really see it's evolving and it's reacting on market challenges. I started using this tool before ChatGPT went live and they reacted and they introduced integration with ChatGPT. In the future releases, the feature that I like as well, and I think will enjoy adding additional users, you can hire, for example, a virtual assistant who may help with your content generation. NLP writer, that's an interesting thing, though, again, I think it would be better not to spend time on integrating it in a content writer, because other standalone tools like Fraser or NeuronWriter would work better, I think. We can see another features that are planned. Browser extension. It's not critical, but nice to have. This feature also I'm very keen to have because you may save pieces of the workflow. For example, a predefined structure of your products reviews so you can create your custom templates and speed up your workflows. There is no strong need for a mobile app. Let's see how they will implement that. 
Let's start with some basic settings. You can choose which model to use. Not sure if they are using GPT 3.5 Turbo or just 3.5. And again, to show that the tool is evolving, I've got my AppSumo codes before ChatGPT went live. And without any additional cost, I have access to ChatGPT 4. On the moment when they integrated it, I remember there was lower limit. Now it's 50 queries per day in GPT-4 model, but 3.5 will still work fine for you. Another great feature is that CatTab can produce content in more than 20 languages, and here you may choose the default. Also interesting feature to have is target audience, so you can target the output for a particular country. This one means that this tool is searching the web and actually getting the latest content. This one was unchecked previously for me, but check it. And as any modern tool, you can choose light or dark theme. Honestly, I was using the light mode more, but let's for a change use the dark mode. Okay, so let's continue with long form article workflow. Let's use this keyword. On the first step, you need to add the title. Maybe it's a bit unusual because many tools request a keyword addition. I think you, with long tail keyword, you can use it as is. It even suggests you some other long tail keywords, which I think relevant. I assume it gets it based on Google search results. Well, not a must have feature, but definitely nice to add. And in this demo, I would like to test full potential of the tool because they recently added a chat feature. Here I am requested for a title. So let's ask the chat to generate title. Okay, let's use this one. You're choosing your primary language for the content generation. You also choose the target audience and the number of words you would like. So here you can define the tone, let it be friendly. You can change it per paragraph. You can adjust the titles. So we've got our introduction, general background. You can add more. And maximum, you can have 20. And for each paragraph on the fly, it's doing fact checking. It took about one minute or a bit less to complete the article. And let's view it. And less than in a minute, we've got 2000 word article. How cool is that? So I have checked the content. I was very satisfied. Of course, the more time you spend with your uh, outline optimization, the better content uh, you will get. Previously, Catapults including citations as well. I saw that last week, we'll need to check with another generation to see if it will be present. 
I also have checked their claim to be SEO optimized. I have put the output of the generation into a neuron writer. And the keyword was uh, like this, how to generate images with AI free. And that's what was in our title. So to get a bit better score, I've added some draft of the title and some draft of the meta description. And I've just copied and pasted the output and put H1 heading here. And out of the box, we've got the score of 58, which is actually a great start. Of course, to be the best, you will need to optimize more. We can see there is no risk of the keyword stuffing. And actually, if you look at the detailed statistics, we have a better score than top one results in Google. Of course, there is higher score and you will still need to do more optimizations to have higher chances for your content to rank. But in summary, great optimizations right out of the box. Let's continue with the features of the cut tab. So once you have generated your article through long form content workflow, you are put into so-called cut tab writer. You can open that workflow right from the start. And from here, you can use different tools that they have. And recently, Catep really simplified their workflow. I think they're removing a lot of uh, tools with the purpose of Catep Assistant to replace the majority. Because here, you can define in free form what you need and get the result. Let's say you want to extend your article with pros and cons of mid-journey. Then you just ask Catep Assistant to provide you that. And voila, you get your pros and cons. I assume once you spend your daily limit for GPT-4, you will be dropped down to GPT-3.5, so you won't be blocked. One more thing I would like to test is the data source. You can also choose YouTube or URL and snippets that you saved previously. So let's check the YouTube. I found uh, the one which describes the pros and cons of the mid-journey. Let's see what result can we get from that. And I think that's a really great feature. So that video was a uh, six minute long and it gave a uh, condensed results and summary of pros and cons. Let's explore another feature, which previously was marketed as credible writer and it was available as a standalone feature. Now, as I understand, it was merged into Katip Assistant which actually is a great thing. So basically you can provide a link based on which your content will be generated. As the example, I would like to get the summary of the mid-journey models. and you get your content based on the link that you gave to the tool. Let's see how related images 
works. Well, it gave some suggestions, though for me it is not clear if you have the rights to use the image. I guess you need at least to attribute to the source. And finally, let's quickly test a art generator. Again, I think it's a side feature and AI writer does not need to have that. It is better to have integration with stock images. Let's see if you can get something similar. We've got some results. However, I still think that for AI image generation, you will need a specialized tool. Because for example, here we can see there is a specialized model, probably trained to produce hyper-realistic people. So in summary, this is the tool I use the most for my content generation needs at the moment. And I really like how it's changing constantly. For example, previously there were several tools, Cate Plus, Credible Writer, Cate Assistant, and now they merged it all into one because really it was very confusing. And now it's uh, much better and simpler to use. I like the workflow, especially for the long form content generation also, I find very useful the chat feature they have recently added because in my opinion, any modern AI writer should have a chat feature where you in free form can define what kind of short form content you need from it. And they just added that feature. In recent release, they removed the citations. So not sure if it will be back. Anyway, I like the content that the tool is producing. So if you like this tool, or maybe you already have it and you would like to get more codes, please check the links in the description. Also, please give a like to this video and subscribe if you would like to be notified when I will provide more similar videos. Thank you for watching.